What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we're working on the 7 Series again. We're finally going to be putting together that full front end. We're going to be putting on the bumper, hopefully fixing the wire harness, and then also getting the windshield replaced. So pretty much, in terms of aesthetics, the car should be fully put together. The, all the body panels, new windshield. Um, in terms of like body panels, like, like, it just needs to be sanded down. Some of the things like the rear bumper. I don't know if you guys can see it. Rear bumper is slightly faded. A few of the things is slightly faded. That fender over there on the passenger side. Is slightly messed up and obviously the bumper is gold not black so let's just get the car up here uh fix the wiring harness for the pdc sensors and then also throw on the front bumper we should be good to go on that once all that stuff's on the car we can pretty much take it down to get the windshield replaced i have an appointment already set up the windshields will cost you about 400 dollars, but it is what it is it is going through my insurance so they're also hooking it up with like a decent deal where it has a warranty if anything happens with it which is you know it's always like it's always a plus and then i went ahead and i ordered some wrap i was actually originally going to go ahead and paint match everything that's kind of faded but i did the calculations for the Rear bumper for the quarter panel for the uh, the the fender over there and the bumper um, and then with the blend and everything from all directions it would cost me upwards of a thousand dollars just to go ahead and do that stuff at the paint shop that I go to um, so I'm gonna go ahead I could probably get him as low as 700 but I don't want him to just do kind of a rush job I want it to be a good looking job so I said you know what let me go in with a wrap something that's really still classy really 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 nice and I think it's gonna fit the 7 series so well so we went ahead and ordered that wrap it is coming in the mail as soon as it gets here I'll, I'll probably hit up my boy junior from RC Restyling We'll go ahead and wrap the car, make sure to perfection. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get the 7 Series up on here and fix the sensors and the bumper. All right, so we are having a battery issue, and then we're also getting the plus 31 now instead of the negative, I believe negative 40. Both of those are two different errors. Let's go ahead and just connect Carly and see what kind of error it gives us. So checking into the engine ones, we do have DMTL leak diagnostic pump control line brake. Uh, that is also DMTL slowness. These are all DMTL things, heating control line brake. So we're getting a lot of DMTL codes, and it looks like it's throwing the check engine because of the DMTL. None of them is actually saying because of air conditioning missing these are because of battery issues for sure i know that's for sure okay so we have two dmto codes i'm going to look these up i think it's because of the battery possibly um we're going to go ahead and charge up the car that's what i'm doing right now it's actually on a trickle i don't know if you guys can see it so i am charging the car we're going to go ahead and put the sensors back and the bumper um but i'm going to screenshot that we'll look into that later and as for the transmission you guys know position uh sensor broken line l3 so that is another issue of ours and that's what's causing the car not to go and park it just keeps blinking in neutral so those are the three codes you honestly really need to take care of everything else on here will pretty much honestly fix itself as we put the car back together i did get a battery charge level low and increased battery discharge both of those lights should get knocked out once you either charge the battery or just drive the car we haven't been obviously driving the car we just literally fix something turn it on turn it off um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it on a trickle as we work on the front end of the car. Hopefully that should help. Um, if we have some windshield washer fluids, I'll probably throw that in later tonight. I'll probably pick some up from Walmart. The fog lamps, obviously nothing we can do about it uh, until we actually get the brackets for them. They are coming in the mail. And then the right cornering light malfunction. That's something I honestly need somebody to test out while I'm in, while they're inside the car. I'm gonna go outside and just check it. But I also think that's because of a battery issue because a lot of things can go wrong as soon as the battery is not just giving out the right amount of power. So in terms of seat calibration, that's an only other thing that I can't really figure out either. Uh, again, we'll dive, we'll go into these smaller things that don't really mean much, hopefully later, because I do want to see the message that comes up saying there's no errors. That's the, eventually the goal of the 7 Series. I'll make sure this thing's absolutely perfect. Um, it does say plus 32 now, so it looks like the air temperature sensor is actually doing something, which is great. So let's go ahead and just turn off the car and just let it sit. So while the car is charging, hopefully some of those issues should, should fix itself. Let's go ahead and just put on the front bumper. We're going to be taking it, obviously, on a drive to get the new windshield, so we just need to make sure this front bumper is installed. You know, Know, properly sorted and whatnot. Anywho, my brother got the bumper. Um, I, I don't think there's actually the PDC uh, brackets on there, so it doesn't look like we can install the PDC today, but uh, let's just go ahead and install the bumper and at least get the car looking like a car so it doesn't look weird when we take it in for a new windshield. This is gonna be one of the few 7 Series that you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this option right here and uh, go ahead and fix these holes over at the body shop. And I would put in the PDCs. This thing does have the PDC holes, but as you guys can see, there's no PDC brackets brackets and I need those brackets actually put in the sensors. We do have all the sensors. The harness is cut. We'll work on that hopefully pretty soon. But as for now, I think it's it's pretty easy to put on this bumper. There's nothing we really need to connect to it. We just slap it on just yeah. so it can look a lot better.
And bada bing, bada bang, we have the bumper back on. Honestly, these gaps are not looking like the best, but I noticed that me and gaps don't really work the greatest. So I'm probably gonna take this out of the body shop, have them figure out the whole gap situation. Um, but as for now, it's, it's on there. Everything is screwed on there pretty well. Both sides, I got all the screws in the middle, even put the gasket in the front. So in terms of piecing it all together, it's it's all together, it's all together. Um, obviously, we still need everything for the front bumper. I need to order the brackets for the sensors. I need to order... Um, this center grill, I already ordered the grills on the sides and I have the fog lights with me. Um, what I also realized is to wrap in the car, I'm probably gonna have to order this as well. Um, put it on there and order this as well. Uh, this is just the sensor. So we're gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to order all this tonight. But as for now, we have the bumper on the car. We can take it down to the insurance and it won't look crazy weird. We can get that windshield replaced. This windshield, guys, is just absolutely hideous. We got a massive crack right here. I don't know if you guys can see it going all the way up, all the way up to the top of the thing. And then we have also this shade that I can't wait for them to just remove with the windshield and just completely get rid of it. But anyway, I think we're ready to head out. We're gonna go get some Chipotle, something you guys haven't seen in a very long time. My brother's been wanting to go to Chipotle. I have a, a birthday Chipotle thing, chips and guac. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to take advantage of that. But uh, anywho, let's go ahead and head out and uh, um, get a couple more things situated with the car and get some Chipotle. We are here, boys. Let's go ahead and just vacuum all that garbage out. Alright guys, so we just got here to Safe Flight. This is pretty much what every insurance company uses nowadays for windshields. So, I mean, you guys can obviously take a look at it. This car is just absolutely toast with this crack from the top all the way coming out of the bottom. That shatter there, crack is literally coming all over. And the windshield is just in terrible shape in general. So I can't wait for them to just replace it entirely. Uh, let's go ahead and just get in there and hopefully they'll start their appointment. I'll check back to you guys when probably they're finished. Dude, that thing actually looks so good. <laughs> it looks so luxurious. <laughs> oh my god, guys. That car actually looks so good, dude. I can't wait till it's wrapped with black wheels. Oh man. It's like it's like you put on a, a, a safe costume, came out the door, and it's like, oh yeah, I, you're here for your appointment. Takes the car runs. <laughs> Dips out. I'm like, where's he going with my car, dude? Anyway, we're just gonna go chat at Home Depot. You know, your man loves Home Depot, likes looking at Milwaukee tools and whatnot. <laughs> my brother gotta take a dump. <laughs> That's why I'm going to Home Depot. So he's going to Home Depot for that. Actually, that's the reason we're all going to Home Depot. But uh, I'm just trying to justify my, my Milwaukee addiction. I'm not going to buy anything. Hopefully not. Um, actually, no, not to buy anything throughout the entire year. Only on Black Friday, I go ham on tools because Black Friday, things are more than half off, which is absolutely crazy. And throughout the rest of the year, normal price. I would never spend that kind of money on a tool. So uh, anywho, uh, while we wait, um, I'll, just, I'll just keep you guys posted if I see anything cool. Okay, you know what? I actually do need to chill. Let's just come back to Saint Floyd and just chill there until the car is done. You good? Yeah, you good? Uh, guys, we just got some things for the new house. So actually, we got a gazebo that came with the house that we're renting. So uh, I asked them if it was okay if we could paint the gazebo and they said it's cool. So I mean, it's just another project, you know? It's always so satisfying to see something pretty trashy turning to sound pretty good. So let us know down in the comments. Do you guys want to see us paint the gazebo? This little thing that we like, I, I like to, I like to work on that house on the side. So again, if you guys want to see that kind of stuff, not just the car content, but also personal life content, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know down below, guys. Without further ado, let's hit, eh, let's hit back to Safe Flight and hopefully get the Seven Series. Guys, the new windshield is looking so good. We finally parked to show you guys. My new place is right behind you guys, which I'll be showing you guys hopefully pretty soon. But we got the new windshield. They ended up realigning this for us. And it looks like they gave us new windshield wipers. These are new, aren't they? Yeah, but it looks like these are new. 
No, no, look, there's a stain on it. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so uh, we do have some new ones in the truck from FCP Euro, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I do have a homework assignment due in about 45 minutes. Let me go and do my homework real quick, and I'll get back to you guys and replace those two new wiper blades on our brand new windshield. It's really making the 7 Series come together. And guys, I'm officially at my place. Technically my place, the, the new place, which I'll be showing you guys pretty soon. But we're officially back here with the new windshield. I ended up getting new wiper blades as well because I don't really want to even use these old wiper blades scraping against the new windshield. So I wanted to get everything new for at least the windshield situation. Um, as for the hood, the hood no longer opens. <laughs> so <laughs> we fixed one thing, we have two more problems. So in terms of the windshield, uh, I mean, in terms of the hood, we're gonna go ahead and probably call them and see what's going on with that because I honestly, it, the hood was working a million times. You guys even saw me in the prior to this video, I opened the hood to put on the bumper and then they even took it over there and I saw them behind the window open up 10 times and now the hood just doesn't open. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to give them a call because they are an insurance company and uh, see if they could probably just get it fixed. Um, if not, they don't want to do it or they said they're not really liable for that, then I, obviously we'll go ahead and try to fix it, but um, it will be just a lot nicer because it's not the easiest job in the world. Ready, enough talk, let's go ahead and just put on uh, two new windshield wipers. It shouldn't be too hard. And I just realized something, guys. Uh, I, I can't actually do that. I need to open the hood. Well, this video is effectively over. <laughs> If you guys are pretty happy with the progress, we got a front bumper on the car. We finally got a new windshield. Now, we got new wipers, but uh, um, I didn't break the car. They did. So, uh, wrap is also coming in the way. I cannot wait to get this car fully wrapped up. The paint is absolutely terrible. Uh, not terrible. Like, most of the panels are painted. The front bumper, obviously, uh, doesn't have any paint. That fender over there has a minor, minor, like, imperfection. Uh, the rear bumper has a minor imperfection, and then also the rear quarter has a minor imperfection. No big deals, but if you were to add up all that, they just cost a lot of money for paint. And as for a car that I'm already losing a bunch of money on, it's probably smarter to wrap it. Plus, I think wrap will look a lot nicer. Without further ado, guys, it pretty much concludes this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are excited for the next episode, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, there is some M4 news coming soon. So hopefully the next video, I'll be giving you guys a little bit of update with the M4. Super, super, super excited about this. Um, but um, just a little update. But uh, if you guys really are excited to see that update, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.